It's no exaggeration to say nurses hold the health service together. But now, just as the NHS braces for what could prove its toughest winter ever, it must also prepare for industrial action on a scale unprecedented in its history. So this is a picture of me during COVID. Lucy has worked in A&E for 12 years. Without better pay, she fears even more of her colleagues will quit. We have already had sort of what I would say a near misses in our department with patients that are very unwell um, and we wouldn't want that to become anything worse than that. The trouble is on those two days, patient care will suffer. Patient care is already compromised. I would also say that Although I'm a nurse, I'm not versus patients, I'm not against patients. I'm also a patient, I'm on two waiting lists, I've got family members that are also patients. Um, and I think if we don't do this, um, waiting lists are going to get longer and care will just get worse. The average nurse did get a £1,400 rise this summer, but the Royal College of Nursing says years of low pay rises mean a senior nurse, for example, has become 20% worse off since 2010. Nurses are at their wits end now, enough's enough, things are not safe and what we're trying to do is, is really use this as a way to shock the government to come back to the table to secure a better pay deal which will secure, we believe in the longer term, an improvement in the nursing workforce numbers. The government says the cost of the union's demands would be £10 billion and that is not affordable during such challenging times. My door is open to talk with them, but I think the, the ask in terms of 17.6% on pay, uh, around three times what many viewers are themselves getting in the private sector, uh, is not within the economic conditions we face affordable at this time. A majority of nurses at 153 NHS organisations voted to strike, but the specific hospitals affected by these first two days of action will be announced next week. We have many. Nurses, for example, who work in corporate roles, they will, be, um, they will be redeployed into clinical areas if they come into work. So as I say, it's very much on the day, hour by hour, but making sure all of our services are safe and that no patient comes to harm. And I know that's the real commitment from the unions and from our staff side as well. Once hospitals know if their nurses will be striking, it will be up to managers and local union leaders to work out staffing levels for each department. A service that has already coped with so much is about to face yet another huge challenge. Catherine Jones, 5 News.